I'm here in Covent Garden to have a look at a very strange memorial. It's a memorial to a man who quite literally got away with murder. Now this isn't a memorial to a politician or a king who figuratively got away with murder. This man literally got away with murder. But what is really unusual is that the crime itself is actually featured in his memorial. And you can find it inside a church. The man is Charles Macklin, an Irish actor from the 1700s, and he was a regular performer at the Theatre Royal in Drury Lane, and he was well known for his natural and realistic approach to acting. It seems strange to mention this now, but he tried to become the characters that he was portraying, not just simply performing on stage and reading his lines as most actors did at that time. Unfortunately, this is not what he's best known for. He's most famous for a murder. He was in his 40s when he had an argument with a fellow cast member backstage at the Theatre Royal and killed him by stabbing a sharp cane through his eye. And the argument? Well, it was over who would be wearing a particular wig on stage that day. Macklin claimed it was an accident and defended himself in court when charged with murder, which would have resulted in a death sentence had he been found guilty. He was believed by the jury that it was an accident and was actually found guilty of manslaughter and was immediately released from prison. He went on to live to over a hundred years old and when he died his widow had this plaque installed inside the actor's church, St Paul's and Covent Garden and at the top of the memorial you can see a theatrical mask with a dagger pointing through one of the eye holes, an odd reference to the most infamous event of his life. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a look at our other videos on the Offbeat London channel.